Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today, yes, I am playing with Kirishima Online, but some of you suggested that I um, show the quick pre-game training that I do when I'm playing with a character for the first time in a while. So what I usually do, you know, is I just quickly see if I can still do their BNB. So something with Kirishima is something like this. Oh, oops. Let's not face a wall. So into the tilt attack. Into two of these. Into two of this. And into this. And yeah, 12,000, tons of damage, one dash cancel. That's pretty good. And you can also, like, if you want to harden in your combo, like, do this. Oh, oops. Um, this combo. And then into this. But I, I need to remember that you can only, you don't do the yellow attack um, when you're in hardened state, because uh, it doesn't work. Like, the yellow attack in the air, you don't do that part. Ever. So you just go into this. Oops, I messed up there. But that's going to do about 11,000 damage as well. Um, here, wait, let's see if I can hit it still. I can actually hit it. That one's actually kind of weird to time the... Yeah, yeah there we go. I kind of mess that up sometimes. And then jump down. And yeah, there we go, 11,000. So they're both really high damage combos for one dash cancel. Um, need to make sure to do a bunch of these because they're pretty safe on, on block or whip because you know he rolls and but he recovers really quickly so I can just throw these out sidestep or just block because you know he moves so far it's hard, hard for the opponent to punish him unless they're just standing still like Bakugo is there and then I just hand myself to their feet but that almost ne like, like, rev like, like never happens because people are always running around themselves so if you do this you've like moved around and they it's very hard to punish it's basically impossible and if they block it then he like does this bounce back and then yeah it's very hard to punish and obviously you can dash cancel then as well so that's his main footsie tool that you're going to be throwing out in like in neutral instead of like just doing an attack because you know we all know that attacks are very unsafe because people are going to sidestep out of the way and then punish you for it you're trying to do an attack and then you get attack punished and then oh it's a whole it's a whole messy thing Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention that um, he can actually combo um, meterlessly off of this. So if he wants to do a meterless combo, it can be something like this. It's actually 12,000 damage for zero um, dash cancels, but it's only if you're in the right position, like facing a wall. But usually, um, you'd have to put in a dash cancel. But like, if you you know, if you notice you're like close to a wall, like something like this, and think you can actually. Yep, like that. It's actually not that hard of a combo, so... 12,000 damage, just because you realize you're facing a wall, that's pretty good. And zero dash cancels. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. Um, yeah, so throw out this a bunch in the neutral, because, you know, you never want to just be pressing attacks. Um, oh, also his, um, tilt, uh, quirk 2 in the air is really good. Because, like, not only does it, like, go pretty far, like, it is slow. But it's good, and it actually has tracking. So if I have Bakugo run around here, um, uh, dash around. You can see each ha ha each hit actually has its own tracking. It's not like amazing tracking, but like unlike an attack string, you see like where the first hit goes towards him, and then the ones afterwards just don't. They just keep going in a straight line like an idiot. Like why would you do that? But this actually tracks all the way around. So all three hits will try and go after the opponent, which is really good because like if they sidestep the first one, the uh, you know, the second and third hit will still hit them. And what's really good about that, uh, stop dashing please, is because, you know, just like in the combos, the first two hits of that are, you can combo off of. And you can get some good damage off of it. Like that probably wasn't even optimal combo, you could probably extend it a bit more, but see, that's just from, you know, me realizing that I've hit this, and I can easily hit confirm into this. And yeah. Um, and yes, <laughs> you can harden in, in neutral if you want, and I usually just find it, like, good against, like, characters who, like, have, like, running in. It kind of works, I find, best to use as, like, a parry, because we all know parries are garbage in this game, but this one actually works well as parry, because, like, he does get immune to things. Like, it's a parry that only works against normal attacks, so it doesn't work against yellow or red attacks, but it's still, like, good, because it'll actually hit the opponent and, like, do something either way, and it's not extremely punishable as well, because... You know, 
you're still like kind of in the parry that you can't get like in that you can't get hit so if you do this and if it does hit them then you know obviously you can go into a combo go into something like this you know decent damage but you know even if it misses then you're in the hardened state you know things you're a bit slower but like you can do this and it'll actually just go through like any projectiles or anything it'll just like completely nullify stuff and i think wait i think when you're hardened can you combo off of this needlessly against certain characters you can i think baku goes a little bit small but against anyone with like a like a, an adult body like all night or like a uh, no move or even some of just like the taller characters like Ida, you can actually combo for that needlessly. Actually, I wonder if you can um do like this. No, no, that's too slow. But yeah, and like when you're hardened, like your tilt work one, like I said, it'll just go through anything. And same goes like for um your you know your double quirk twos in the air that I said were really good. So these, like, you know, they're almond in the air now, and you can just come in on, on the opponent like this, you know, get a combo going. So it's really good. And, yeah, that's about it. Other than that, you're just going to be playing the basics. You're going to, you know, be using red attacks, yellow attacks, throwing them in the air, uh, trying to mix up. Sometimes, you know, if you think you get that, you're just going to jump and attack them or do something like this. Like, just jump up and do a red attack. And then you can dash cancel it and get a combo from that as well. And, uh, yeah. and also remember that his plus ultra one is really good because it kind of works like Mirio's because he's hardened when he starts it so like he's basically invincible like at the beginning activation because he goes into the hardened state so like any gap in their string you can just like be mashing plus ultra one and it'll just come out because they can't interrupt you if it's in the middle of their block string or something but you know it also, you know, uh, it's pretty easy to combo off, especially with even like with these um these team supports like Bakugo. Um, that was a bad example because you're not supposed to do that there. But you know, you get big damage off of it just by comboing off it. So yeah, let's head online and see 